Good evening, everyone. We begin with the reality of heroin here in the tri-state. Three young children witnessed their mother overdose and die right in front of them. Family members of Lacey Sexton say she put her children in the same situation just months ago, but this time she didn't wake up. Nine on your side's Julie O'Neill spoke with Sexton's family about what might have saved her life. Julie? It's not often you hear people praise someone for being a wonderful mother and in the same breath say they wish she'd been put in jail. In this case, there are those who believe a stern consequence might have saved this young mother's life. A beautiful woman. She loved her children. She's a good mom. And my kids, her life revolved around them. And yet, the father and grandmother of 27 year old Lacey Sexton say she just recently started dabbling in drugs. They say all three of her kids were asleep in a parked car with her at 3 in the morning Saturday when the seven year old awoke and couldn't wake mom. She breaks down a lot, which is good. She needs to get it out. Um, we love her, we encourage her, we explain to her. What's hard to explain is why no one could revive mom like they did four months ago when the same thing happened in this Harrison Speedway parking lot. Sexton went before a judge, but loved ones wish he hadn't been so lenient. She was given a year's probation and a slap on the hand for the child endangerment charges, four of them. They were dropped down to one charge. Pam McClafferty says Sexton's mandated supervised visits ended too soon. There wasn't enough time, there wasn't enough consequences to really make someone think about their actions. The unsupervised part of it is what ended up endangering those children again and costing her her life. Sadly, the first overdose happened on her daughter's seventh birthday. This second one happened on her son's ninth birthday. The other child is three. Also in the car with them was Sexton's boyfriend. Harrison police have not told me yet whether he might face charges. We'll stay on top of it at the Hamilton County Justice Center. Julie O'Neill, not on your side.